Hey everyone, I want to talk about experience I just had with a brand new TV that I just got a few days ago. Um, I only really, up to this point anyway, uh, get Samsung HD TVs. I've had different size Samsungs. I've had 42 inch, I uh, had 55 inch. This uh, new one that I got here is another 55 inch TV. And this brand was my first 4K TV set. And it's, uh, I believe, Samsung QLED. And I don't know the exact make, the number, model number, and all that. Uh, I want to say here at the start of the video that I am not a tech expert. I do not work at a store where I display TVs. I am not a technician. I am not uh, an expert on calibration of TVs. I've seen a whole bunch of videos in preparation for this with different people that are experts, if you will, on... Uh, getting TVs set up and uh, what you should set your TV to, what you should not set your TV to. And I'm here to talk a little bit, bit, bit about my experience in the past few days. I, I've spent three days. I wouldn't say I spent a consecutive 72 hours or anything. But over time, I've been spending an awful lot of time watching different Blu-rays. This is a 4K TV. I do not yet have a 4K player, but I'm sure I will get one. And I've been watching some Blu-rays here. And, uh, you know, oh, a black and white movie here. And uh, 1970s movie and 1960s movie and so on and so on. And I always find that when I get a television set, of course, as we all know, it, you have to set it to your tastes and how you like it. Because they're already set by default pre-settings everywhere and that's about how we you, you, they come in the box you know so uh I, I i really didn't like this television set my first 4k set i don't know if it was the make i've always liked samsung thought they had a great picture but i didn't like it and uh not until i spent hours again not consecutive hours but over a period of three days screwing around with it, monkeying around with it, whatever, to get it to a picture that I like. And in watching all these videos where people talk about the right and wrong way to do it, I've come to the conclusion, which is not really anything profound, it's up to you how you like it. Don't listen to what somebody tells you, this is what to do, this is what not to do. Now I'm going to talk mostly here about a feature that everybody, I know pretty much, when I say everybody, it's not the whole world, but most people I know hate this feature. And it's commonly called soap opera effect. There are all kinds of names for it. Different uh, brands have different kinds of names. Uh, I know one of the effects here is called, on this set, called Judder. And there are other things, uh, fast motion, etc. I did everything possible. You know, I... I like to watch my movies mostly when it's pitch dark in here. I don't like to watch them in the day. I do watch movies in the day, but I'm mostly a night movie watcher for the most part. Um, and I've heard some people say the thing to do is to ignore all these features like judder and blur and um, a smooth motion is another one. Smooth motion. Set them all off and go to a little feature here on Samsung called Filmmaker Mode. And there are other titles for the Filmmaker Mode as well. Some of them just say Movie Mode. Movie Mode, Filmmaker Mode, Film Mode, whatever. But every time I did that, I found personally the picture got uh, too warm, too yellow. It had like a sepia tinge to it. Uh, and uh, didn't really care for it. One of the big problems I have, and again, again, this is all subjective. It all has to do with what you like when you watch movies. One of the things I notice when I watch movies on a TV, even the best HD TVs, is I see a lot of grain. That's a whole other video I'm going to make. I have a saying that I know a lot of people will not agree with, but hear me out. I have a saying, I call it, grain is a pain. Now, I know what you're saying. This guy doesn't know film. This guy doesn't know movies. Who is he to say? Doesn't he realize that Motion pictures, film, are made up of grain. That, 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 you need grain in order to make the film image. That's what film is, is grain. I get it. I appreciate it. But I don't want to see grain or grittiness in my film detracting, distracting me, detracting from the movie. 
uh, I don't want to see that. I, I am a fan of pictures. I know it's not the way they were made necessarily, but I'm a fan of, of the picture looking smooth. I like a sharp picture, smooth picture where you can't really detect any grain networking around. And what I mean is like, hear me out. I know that grain is inherent to film. It's what makes up film, particles of grain, etc., etc., celluloid, you know, whatever. But use this example. Some of you people will know what I'm talking about, especially if you're an older person. In the old days, you know, they'd show a movie on a screen, and you'd sit back in the seats, and it would look fantastic, the image, right? Great image. But on the way out, say when the credits were rolling and the movie was over, if you walked out of the theater, and out of curiosity, as a kid usually, you would like go right up to the screen, almost nose to nose with the screen, and you would see th that there are indeed particles working at, at work. You're not supposed to decipher that when you're at a distance watching the film, in my opinion. So I don't want to see any film grain. Yes, I appreciate that grain makes up films, but when I'm watching them from a distance, I don't believe I'm supposed to decipher the grain. That's just my feeling of it. So, let's talk about the soap opera effect. The soap opera effect, I hate the soap opera effect. A lot of people hate the soap opera effect. Uh, how do you describe it? If you know what it is, you know. If you don't, there's a difference between like when certain things were shot on film, say, on t on, or TV shows, situ situation comedy soap operas that were shot on tape. And... A lot of times when you go to a store to buy a TV, it'll be set to the soap opera effect, also known as the, I don't know, smooth motion or um, sometimes the judder being turned way up. Uh, and it looks unnatural or maybe some people say it looks unnatural. Some people say it looks too natural, meaning when you watch film, it's, it's supposed to have some kind of cadence to it. When you watch a film, it's supposed to look like it's kind of like uh, a little flatter, not 3D. You know, this effect of uh, the judder and the, mo you know, the motion smoothness and everything. That soap opera effect, it gives you a feeling of three dimensions. Without having a 3D TV, it looks kind of, everything moves in 3D. Some people say it doesn't look natural. Sometimes I might say the problem with it is that, not that it doesn't look natural, it's that, soap opera effect looks too natural it looks like we're right here like this like on a you know uh in the room with the person it's supposed to look like it's kind of on a on a, on a canvas or painting kind of thing it's the best way i can describe it maybe you can describe it better and so uh, the first thing i do when i get a new tv is i try to reduce that now in this case this tv the judder control goes up to 10. I don't want to sound like I'm doing the movie, this is Spinal Tap, <laughs> but anyway, it goes up to 10, or 11, right? It goes up to 10, and I shut it all the way down to, to get rid of that soap opera effect. But here's the thing. As I was playing with this TV and putting different movies in, a black and white movie here called I Married a Monster from Outer Space from the 50s, 1968 film called Targets, newly released on Criterion. And 1977's Exorcist to the Heretic. We'll talk about how terrible this film is another time. But I was just using these. And I also use Jaws, a favorite of mine on Blu-ray, to try to calibrate the set. And what I found is that after all was said and done over three days of this, this is going to shock some people. It shocked me. I didn't expect that I was going to come to this conclusion. Just for kicks, I decided to watch I Married a Monster from Outer Space. In the judder mode, I put the judder function on. And, of course, it looked a little, you know, weird. We're not used to seeing films like that. It looked like, a, as I say, an episode that's shot as a soap opera or on videotape. Or, you know, there were, I don't know if, for those of you who like the Twilight Zone episodes, there were certain Twilight Zone episodes that were shot on tape, like, instead of film, and they have a more live look to them. I started watching the movie like that, the monster movie. And what I discovered was, even though it wasn't right, I got used to it the more I watched it. And I started to think, here's, a, here's one for you to ponder, I like the answers to this. Do we only accept filmmaker movie mode the way we used to it? Because we've been watching films that way for 100 years or so? 
I mean, for 100 years ago, it was 24 frames per second, which is what regular films are shot at, 24 frames per second. When you put the, the soap opera effect on, the judder mode, all this kind of stuff up, you wind up, and smoothless motion and all this, you wind up going up to, instead of 24 frames per second, you get 60 frames per second, or even more than 60 frames per second, and it looks cleaner. Here's what I discovered. I discovered that after all this experimentation, I discovered that I enjoyed having the movie with a little tiny bit of soap opera effect up, or maybe judder, if you will. I actually watched this movie just for kicks with the judder all the way up to 10. And as I say, maybe just because we're not used to it. If we had grown up with movies being shot like the Judder speed, reduced, I don't even know if I'm using the right terminology, but you know where I'm going with it. The soap opera effect. If, if movies had been shot looking like soap opera effect for 100 years, or if it was, they were shot at 60 frames per second, if they could have afforded 50, 60 frames per second or 120 fr frames per second, probably we wouldn't be complaining. I think a lot of the reasons why people like me are complaining is because we're older people and we want it the way we remember it. This is not film. This is what film has been. Film has been presented like this for 100 years. That's the way a film should be. That's what the director wanted. That's what the filmmaker intended. That's what it should be. But I got a kick out of watching this movie on Judder. Yes, it wasn't what I was used to. Some parts looked absurd, but I got a feeling like I was right with the action. And when you're watching a monster film, near the end of this film, you got a bunch of space monsters kind of bounding around and walking around. It looked like, looked like they were kind of right there, right there. And when they would get destroyed and they would die, you would see all this kind of bubbly gelatin kind of stuff sizzling or, or oozing. And it looked more real and more present and more alive and and more detailed in the soap opera effect than it had on the film effect. So I said, huh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll experiment a little more and actually <gasps> shun the thought, watch movies in soap opera mode every now and then. But I'm still a purist. I still like I still prefer my movies the way they, they should be without soap opera. And that's why I was kind of saying this, and I'm going all over the place with this, folks. The final setting I have now, which is the one that I've kind of settled on, and I hope I'm going to keep, is I've decided to keep the TV set at, at, out, of, out of 10, I have it set at 2. I have it up to 2 notches out of 10. Just enough of the soap opera thing, or the judder reduction thing, or whatever you call it, smooth opera operations whatever you call it, smooth smoothing out just enough to make that image without the grain but not enough to make it look like you're watching days of our lives or you know something like that or watching as the world turns you know so it's the best of both worlds i find will i change my mind perhaps but right now putting the soap opera motion smoothing judder effect at two just a tiny bit. It gives me just that clarity, clearness, smooth as glass, smooth as silk look I like without ridiculous 3D over-the-top effects. It still looks mostly film. And that's really where, where I'm going with this. Uh, I'll end this way. The only, at least with this TV, the only downside to leaving it at that is we discovered that when we watched our television programming, regular TV, broad, broadcast TV, you know, so whatever, there was that kind of jerky motion unless you shut all that off. So in other words, it looks like every time I want to watch TV, regular TV, I have to shut it off. And then when I want to watch movies on discs, I think I got to go into the custom setting and put the judder on like two. You know, I wonder what something like the Beatles Get Back film that was shot on film, you know, what that would look like watching soap opera effect with the Beatles jamming in the studio. I'm getting curious now. So I don't think I'm 100 percent against soap opera effect. Sorry, Tom Cruise. I know Tom Cruise is out there, but I'm not all, all in for soap opera. Just just that much. Thanks, everybody. Love to hear your opinions.